Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for Sign of Leo, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Leo. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be in the description down below, but the first link in the description down below is my Etsy shop. We currently have a 60% off sale on most shop items. You can literally find things as low as $1 on there from now until the 21st. You can find my holographic stickers, which are limited edition. Alright. This was my Oracle cards. Which are also limited edition. And the mini holographic version of my Oracle cards, which is only one of these ever made, ever available, ever. So get it was there. It's in the description down below on my Etsy shop. So we have the Seeker and the Sleeping Lord. Alright, so what are you seeking here? We have the Stone King. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Grail 7. Stone 10. We have Grail Hollow. We have... Tally scene. That's how you say that. Grail nine. We have the Grail King. Arthur. All right. So Leo, let's get into your reading. Arthur as the major arcana here. What a number. It says, Arthur is the primordial guardian of the land of Britain from Dark Age battle leader who welded warring tribes together to a medieval king whose round table brought justice. He is recognizably sovereignty's champion. He sits upon his throne in the high mountain passes of Snowdania, Snowdania, whatever. This bird. Behind him is Draco standard of the pen dragons. Alright, so this talks about leadership, authoritative energy, organization, order, courage, masculinity, fatherhood, responsible love, benevolence, dynamis, dynamism, stability. Questions. What brings stability to this situation? What are your ambitions? What boundaries are needed now? It says the figure of Arthur is a complex one made of many strata of tradition. Most people are familiar with Arthur as the medieval king and champion of Christin Christendom? Whatever. But behind this lie other equally valid personas. Dark Age battle lord, Roman Romano, British chieftain, and Celtic god hero. The Arthur of this deck is a combination of all three of these designations. The primary feature of Arthur's role in his guardian is his guardianship and defense of the land, which take, takes us into the realm of the mythic reality, where the historical 6th century battle leader is subsumed in a welter of divine and heroic traditions. The stories of Arthur are the Acts of Albion. This perhaps explains the curious rippling out of the legends surrounding him. For around Arthur constellate the great, greater powers of the Arthurian world. From being a lone heroic figure, he gathers about him an actual as well as a withdrawn court in which knights, ladies, heroes, gods, and goddesses are numbered. This great panoply of archety archetypes is not immediately apparent from a current... Oh, from a... Cursor, reading of medieval Arthian romances who complex enlacements cross and recross the original tradition confusingly. In later romances, Arthur is a figurehead based squarely upon the model Christian king kingship. He no longer engages in adventures in his own right, those are performed by the knights of his court. He is represented by numerous champions, chief of whom is Gawain, in his in the earlier, earlier, 
stories. I don't know why I can't speak right. Arthur leads his army into the underworld of Anwin, Anwin, whatever. He rescues Guinevere from her fairy abductor. He encounters the goddess of sovereignty and takes the empowerment of the Hollows. He is an active, initiating leader whose care for his people and his land. Oh, whose care is for the people and the land. The divine and heroic elements within his his role are amplified by tradition. Whether he attempts to depart his kingly responsibilities within the legends or to live a life of his own, he comes to grief, where he fulfills the duties of a king. He is given the support and assistance of the goddess of sovereignty. He is the foster mother, or she is the foster mother, who instructs him in wisdom. She brings him to the kingship, she provides him with a wife, and eventually revives him, or receives him. <laughs> receives him to her again in the Isle of Avalon, from whence prophecy says he will return to defend the land once more. Alright. And we have this card. Talisian, the poet of Arthur, sits in a firelit hall telling a story to two children. The story of his initiatory, initiatory transformations and chase by Saradun. He, uh, he accompanies Arthur in his descent to Anwin, and is the witness of Arthur's passing into Avalon. The lark represents his unceasing voice of memory. Tradition, revelation, insight, inspiration, preserving heritage and ancient memory. Initiation, advice or can counsel, spiritual transformation. Questions, what inspires you about this? What is seeking to be revealed now? What is the next step in your story? Okay, these questions are important. I want you to answer these questions because that is something Spirit is asking you. Like, what what are your ambitions? What inspires you? What are you seeking to be revealed? And what is the next step here? Okay. Those are big questions for you here. So it's the grails. So we have the Grail Hollow. The Grail Hollow appears over a mountain stream. It says fertility, abundance, beauty, joy, pregnancy, nurture, healing, gladness, compassion, universal love. Where is your love committed is the question here. Alright. Grill 7. In waters of a lake, a fortress is reflected as a fairy howl. A cup of silver stands upon the near, near, stands upon the near bank. Self-deception, illusion, and overactive imagination, unrealistic fantasies, glamour of delusion. Question. What is deluding you? And then we have the Grail 9. Under a starlit, star, under a starlit sky, a cauldron hangs over a fire. Satisfaction, one's heart's desires. Security, physical pleasure, emotional contentment. What is your heart's desires here? So there's a big question here. On what is what is your heart's desires? What are you seeking? What is your ambitions? What is inspiring you? All right, what are you seeking to be revealed? And then what is the next step after that? All right. Because it feels like you are going to be getting your heart's desires here. Okay. And the Grail King. Under a mighty oak sits the Grail King, holding an earthenware cup. From the tree hangs a golden bowl from golden chains. Near the stream is a green stone. An understanding, generous, supportive, loving, and honorable person. A healing latitude to move. Question is, what are you honoring? So the Grail King. The Grail King can be that of water. Maybe a water sign here. That feels like a person here. Alright. So 
So we have stone 10 and then the stone king. It says magpies bear the stone hollow to the winter court of the chessboard castle. The pied colors echoes the squares of the chessboard. Tradition, wealth, ancestral heritage, inheritance, property, establishment, and permanence, enduring prosperities. Question, what do you inherit and bequeath? Alright. The Stone King. The Stone King sits before a triathlon of stone, with a hound at his feet. On his breast is the checkered emblem of the stone hollow. A prosperous, dependable, wise, responsible individual, love of the land and nature. Question is, what must be offered in thanks? Okay, so what are these questions here? All right, they got these questions. What are your ambitions? What inspires you? Okay, what are you seeking to be revealed? What is your heart's desires? What's the next step after that? And then what are you going to offer in thanks of that, Leo? I want you to answer these questions here. Okay, because these are important questions. Because it feels like you are going to be getting your heart's desires here. But there's an offering of thanks after that. Okay. Now then, this can be a lot of different things here. This can be stability in your life and what you're desiring here. Uh, feels like you are being initiated here into the spirituality here, the talisman. Maybe you're going to be telling like younger generations of that. Like, I did this when I was such and such age, right? Feels like that. Like, there is going to be a telling of your, um, your stories here. The Arthur card, the talisman. Okay. Or even that of someone of like past generations and stuff. But there can also be there's abundance overall coming in here. It can be also be a person here. You have the Grail King, the Grail, the Stone King. Um, there can also be fertility and pregnancy, the Grail Hollow, and then this card with fatherhood there. So depends on what you are desiring and what are you asking for. Spear 2 with the Grail 5. Okay, I don't actually remember what these cards talk about, so. You have the Stone Maiden. Let's get me have the chessboard. There's something with chess here. The flowering of Logris or Logris. Alright. So once again we have two children here. That could be two children in the future or or whatever. We have stone eight. Spear six. Sword six. The sun. Especially, yeah, I definitely feel like there's going to be a child here being born somewhere in the future, right? We have that of fertility. We have this card, which talks about... This card comes right after the moon card, and what the moon card is, it's like the... Uh, the moon, actually, is like a, a child in the womb, alright? And this is that child that was born. Okay, so, we have the wounded king. The grail knight. Alright, so you have the wounded king with the sun. And that other card. The wounded king suffers from an unhealing injury that only the seeker can heal. By asking the all-important grail question, both the king's wound and the wasteland are caused by a Dolores blow. An event that uses the spear hollow for self-defense rather than for sacred purposes. His dog attends him. Okay. Wisdom of experience, surrender, spiritual insight, commitment to principles, dedication to a cause, Complete change of one life's, one's life, healing from the roots, purification, shedding in essentials, self-sacrifice. Questions. What do you have to accept? What sacrifices are not, are being asked of you? What must you do? What must you devote yourself to? All right. So those are the questions here, Leo. What must you accept, or what must you uh, 
sacrifice in order for this. All right, and what will you devote yourself to? Okay. There's a complete change coming here, and there's also purification and releasing here. Okay. We have the sun. Liberated Mabon rides out on rides out to help achieve his quest on a white mare. On his back is a harp, for he is not only a hunter but a singer. As Maponus, bringer of light, he is the god of the Roman legionaries of Hadrian's Wall. He also represents the youthful Arthur who drew the sword from the stone. The stone. Innocence, purity, enthusiasm, warmth, a loving heart, joy, freedom, enlightenment, wholeness, health, clarity, directness, true vocation, realize. Questions. What is coming to fruition? Where do you commit your enthusiasm here? What joy of freedom is being offered, okay? These are the questions here. Alright, Leo. So once again, answering those questions. And the sun feels like the child. Alright, then we have to move on to this one. The landscape of the seeker card is here restored. The mature seeker joins hands with the children of Talisman card in delight. The bee and the butterfly represent renewed fertility. The healing of the wasteland is the aim of the quest for the hollows. Now the land of Flogros flowers once again within a rainbow path. It says perfection, restoration, culmination, triumph, obtainment, rapture, healing and benefit, a new era, a sense of unity. Questions. What makes things whole here? What is being restored here? How can you enjoy the freedom and abundance being offered? All right, Leo. So what is being, what is being, what is, what is being completed here? All right, what is being restored, Leo? All right. It feels like there's a restoration here. There's a new era. There's like... Uh, the attainment of your your goals and your dreams. Okay. So we have swords, stone, spear. Okay, basically everything. A barge winds down a sunny river. After many trials, Galahad and his father meet on their quest. Success after trouble, safety and protection, a journey, new perspectives, difficulties avoided, blockages cleared. Question, what perspective do you have from a new span standpoint? Alright, Leo, look at this. We're having success after, after you've had so many troubles in your life, right? Blockages are being cleared. There's new perspectives here as well. Okay. Sword... A banner of victory flies to claim Arthur's great triumph over the Saxons at Mount Badon. Victory, advancement, pride and achievement, recognition, ceremonial honors, promotions, efforts rewarded. Question, what do you have to be proud of? What are you proud of here, Leo? Alright, I want you to go over your accomplishments. Feels like there is victory here. Once again, there is like your, there is like achievement. Okay, you're being recognized, but there's also attainment of your goals here. So that could be success. That could be... Fertility, that could be a bunch of things. Stability, you know, a person. Yes, grail. You have the grail knight. Galahad follows the vision of the grail through the wood. A meditative, receptive, visionary, charming, empathic, romantic person. Idealism, emotional response. What vision inspires you? So once again, what is inspiring you here, Leo? Alright, in this grail night, that can be you, or that could be a person around you. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that was the sword maiden, not the stone maiden. So I have to go back. Dindrine, Percival's sister, weaves the sword belt in and embroideries the scabbard with her hair. An insightful, quick, truthful, flexible, discerning person. Unexpected, sometimes challenging news. Question, what cuts to the heart of the matter? So what, what is the heart of the matter here, Leo? Alright, so I feel like this stone maiden here, that could be like a future child, future generations. Okay. That's stone maiden, the sun, or the sword maiden, I keep wanting to say stone. A stonemason's yard with an unfinished carving, training for the quest, prudence, patient application, apprenticeships to a craft, better results through gaining professional skills, methodical work, detailed preparation. Question, what do you need to practice? What do you need to practice here, Leo? Alright, so what inspires you? What do you need to practice? What, what do you have, what have you achieved here? You know, and things like that. Feels like they still need to practice here, Leo. Um, you are getting success and you are getting your goals here. Okay. We're moving forward to victory instead of struggle. We have the White Heart in the Grail 4. Alright, so we do have lovers here. Okay. That is that card. We have the Moon. You see, now we have the Moon here. So we do have, we did have this full moon, or we are having this full moon. I'm not quite there yet, but when you watch this video, it'll be afterwards. So this is the effect of the full moon here. Alright, bringing that in. We have the Round Table. Spear 8, Sword 7, Sword King, Spear 9, Spear 5, The Grail 3. So Through a marlin's eye, a stone hedge. Above it is the round table. While above this is a circle of stars surrounding a crystal cup. From the circle of a tribal council to Arthur's round table and to the future visions of peaceful government. government. We seek the balanced ways of representing the rights of all beings. Timelines, good fortune, cycle change, cause and effect, next phase or opportunity, cosmic law. Question, what patterns are forming now? What is evolving? What guidance do you do your experiences give you? Alright, so what is forming now? What is evolving, Leo? Okay, and we're on to the next phase here. Okay, cause and effect. What is what is this causing here? Okay, we have the moon. The salmon leads the way to the discovery of Mabon. God of innocence and truth, lost from the beginning of time, the finding and ironically depicted in the f full moon is one of the quests of Colwich? Col I don't know how to say that. Arthur's nephew. Only the oldest animals remember Mabon's location. Generation and gestation, cycle growth patterns, fluctuation, dreams and visions, deep memory, introspection, the creative process, seasonal round, instincts. Questions, what are your dreams telling you? What grows in the darkness? What messages do your instincts bring? So what messages are you receiving here, Leo? Maybe even from your dreams. Okay.
The Sword King sits enthroned with his sword on the Mount of Justice. An impartial, just, analytical, thoughtful, and discriminating arbitrator. An important decision. Question, what is your impartial assessment? What is your assessment here, Leo? Okay. We do have a person here. Alright. Which can represent justice. Huh. Or they do something with justice here. So that could be like something with law, even. So we have the sword seven, which I passed. Galahad was the only knight capable of pulling the sword from the floating stone. Unstable effort, plans fail, little progress, self-deceit or self-doubt, passivity, passivity, quarrels, question, where is the reservation or deception? What I feel like here, Leo, is you may have someone who's, who's like this, the sword king here. Alright, I honestly feel like it's an attorney or something, where, I don't know, something backfires on them. Sword Seven, Sword King, and this is just, alright, this is like, there's, there may be some sort of cause and effect of that, like there's the next phase of this now, okay? Now for those of you where you know that's not your story, that's just not your story, is it? But either way, that is what I feel like here. Uh, we have Spears. Spear Eight, Spear Knight. Spear Five. So Spear Five. Against the setting sun, cross spears rest against a monolith. Contention and strife, solitary, salutary struggle, competitiveness, dictatorial attitudes, obstruction. Question, who or what are you trying to best? Yeah. Spear 8. A spear hustles downstream, reminiscent of how Queen Isolot and Tristan sent secret love messages to each other. Swiftness, speedy progress, expectancy, whatever, hasty preparation, pepper, pepper, whatever. Prophetic insight, communication, coincidence. Question, what is the urgency? Okay. It feels like things are going to be speeding up here, Leo. There's going to be communication coming through here. Okay, and then we have the spirit knight, or, yeah, spirit knight. The spear of Arthur's skillful companion, Bedwyr, cleaves the air. A fearless, adventurous, hot-tempered, generous, demonstrative person. Competitiveness, rescue, troubleshooting. Question, what is being risked? Okay, so spear knight, that could be you, or that could be a person around you. Alright, who fits the description here, Leo? So we have the grail. In an apple orchard, a table is set with harvest fruit with harvest fare. Solace, fulfillment, fortunate conclusion, generosity, spiritual hospitality, congenial meetings. What is meeting here? Yeah. So Leo, what I feel like here, it feels like there's some sort of meeting here with like a like an attorney or a lawyer or something with courts, laws, justice, right? It feels like things are on your favor here. Maybe someone tries to come against you and that comes that backfires onto them. Okay. We have the Marlin with the White Heart once again, so that could be a manifestation of a union and love, romance, and all that sort of stuff. We have the Sword 8, the Stone Maiden now, Stone 6, Sword Hollow, Grail 5, the Seeker, Stone 3, Sword Knight. Okay, so starting off with swords first. Swords. 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 Stones and Grails. Sword Hollow. Oh, wait, we have the Seekers. So that's the first card. In 
in a wasted landscape. The Seeker, who represents everyone, sets out on a quest, taking the rainbow path, impelled by the song of the birds of Rhyanon, who enable him to follow his vision. When the world is laid to waste and the people yearn for healing, Seekers heed the call to find the solutions. Their quest open up possibilities. Okay. It says childlike trust. Divine discontent, protection, the folly to be wise, optimism, adventure, spontaneity, youthful energy. Questions. How does spontaneity and trust keep you on this path? What enthusiasm do you feel? What possibilities are calling you forth? Alright, so what is what is calling you here, Leo? Alright. What is what can you do here? Okay, and I mean that in a positive way. Like what things can you solve? You know what I'm saying? You are the seeker here. Sword Hollow. Sword Hollow arises on the winds as the breath of life. Life energy, dispelling of illusions, conquest, championship, strength and power, truth and justice, life. Question, how is the power of life present here? Okay, Leo. So we have power, we have strength, we have truth and justice. Okay, championship. That tells me that you're going to be the champion here in this whole endeavor. Alright. This sword in a marsh recalls the stubbornness of Geraint to prove his manhood to Enid despite the suffering involved. Restriction, bounded duty, imprisonment, isolation, intolerance, depression, keeping face. Question, what is binding you? Alright, Leo. That doesn't even really feel like yourself here. You know what I'm saying? What, what that feels like here, Leo, okay, it feels like there is a, a removal of what is binding you, alright, and that can be in contracts, that can be in justice, that could be law, whatever, right? Overall, removements of what is binding you, okay? Removing those blockages, remember? Sword 6. Okay, but it feels like someone who, tr who tried to come against you here, remember when we were talking about that earlier? They end up restricting their own selves. Okay. We have a sword knight as well. Lancelot salutes the dawn with his upraised sword. An incisive, fair, skillful person who champions the weak, unsought for help restitution question what is being championed you see that what is being championed here leo i feel like that's you like you are it's coming up as you are the champion here you are you overcome all right you overcame this or you will so you have stone three stone maiden stone six so stone three. Oh, we have to go with grail grail five first A ship with the grail on its sail makes little headway against swelling seas and heavy mist. Disillusion, disappointment, vain regret, broken agreements or promises. Question. What are you sorry for? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leo. Someone here broke their, their promise or broke their agreement, right? And that person just gets back what they've what they've done to you. Mm. Now we have the stones. Stone three. A standing stone stands near plowed fields on a distant hill and it's a chalk figure. Alright, construction, craftsmanship, professional mastery, practical skills, good organization and skill brings honor, creative instinct. Question, what is your best work? And what is your best work here, Leo? Alright, your craft. Okay. What are you good at? Continue doing that, what it is. Okay.
An ancient stone circle becomes a place for a new gathering. Material success, good fortune, share, generosity, charity, patronage, gifts, thankfulness, the great work, sharing. Question, what do you have to share? See that? Feels like you have something to share here, and that's something in your work. Like some sort of creative thing, or whatever you do. Whatever your talent is at, there's something there. Share that. Okay? Leo. And there's, there's success coming in, there's good fortune, there's gifts, you know what I'm saying? And then we have the stone maiden. The stone maiden walks across the snow, bearing the head of a man on a platter. Blood falls into the snow. Over a standing stone, a raven hovers. A practical, capable, considered, realistic person. Time to study a contract. Question, what must you study? You see that? Studying once again. Once again, we're talking about contracts here. This feels like... Yeah, okay. That is what it is. Heavily feels like you are getting justice here in this situation, Leo. You understand? So you have stone nine with sword two. Okay. I didn't know this video was going on that long. We have the Lady of the Lake. Spear four. Spear king. The green knight. The grail queen. Sword nine. Probably would win. And the Grail Four. Okay. The Lady of the Lake. The Lady of the Lake sits up sits on a reed thorn throne with a sword in one hand and a book in the other. She is co companioned by a crane. She initiates Arthur into the otherworldly knowledge as his foster mother and receives him and his sword, Excalibur, back into her realms. Alright. Learning, initiation, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, inspiration, counsel, psychic healing, the ability to impart instruction. Question, what is the source of your w wisdom? What is being initiated now? What knowledge are you seeking? What are you seeking here, Leo? And what are you being initiated into? Okay, this feels like something spiritual. Alright. Throughout the Arthurian legends, otherworldly women guide and instruct Arthur in his court. During the Middle Ages, these many aspects of the goddess splintered into numerous maidens, wronged ladies, and windows, widows. If we return to the earlier text, we find that rather than a bevy of that's how you say that of damsels who need knightly assistance certain powerful women of great stature appear at crucial times to aid and assist the knights the lady of the lake stems from a circus lineage of such women chief of whom is morgan or well they're basically the same thing described as the daughter of rex avalon or the king of avalon or the sister of arthur as a queen of ninefold sisterhood in her own right, it is she who attends Arthur's wounds after the Battle of Camlan, and in whose charge he remains. In otherworldly time, until he is called again. But the role of the healer is not only one of which the Lady of the Lake fulfills, she is also a foster and initiator into knowledge. Traditionally, among the Celtic races, women and women warriors trained boys in the arts of combat. In all the earlier stories about the Grail winner or the Champion of Hollows, the boys fostered into the other world. Fosterage was a custom prevalent among the Celts, stabilizing the tribe and establishing the bonds of love and mutual obligation. The unknown boyhood of Arthur, which later texts say was spent in the care of Sir Ector or the forest. Savage. 
may indeed have been with the Lady of the Lake in one of her guises in the lost stories of oral tradition. It is from her that he gains his sword, Excalibur, and to her island that he is later born to be healed of his wounds. Medieval French tradition tells of Lancelot's upbringing by the Lady of the Lake. She raises him in line with the code of the other world, as well as in courtesy in combat. She both names and arms him in accordance with the principles of Celtic story, whereby the hero has to earn his name by his deeds. In addition, elements of the Lady of the Lake as a fosterer are also apparent in the story of Talies, Talisian. Okay. And then we have the Grail, or the Green Knight. The otherworldly Green Knight comes to Arthur's Christmas court to play a game. A knight must behead him, and in return, he'll behead the knight. Only Gawain takes up the challenge. After the Green Knight is beheaded, Gawain has to offer his own neck in return. He is finally released, unharmed, and Arthur acclaims his courage. At the Green Knight's feet is Ren, king of all birds. This is challenge, ignorance, self-limitation, inflexibility, unconscious, fears realized, stagnation, selflessness, creative possibilities ignored. Questions. What fear obstructs your life? How are you eliminating yourself? How are creative possibilities resurging? Okay, Leo. So you are being initiated here, okay, into all this stuff, into, I'm mean, talking about psychic, spiritual stuff, okay, I'm not talking about lower vibrational stuff, okay? And there is a releasing that of what what you fear, right? Stepping up to the challenge and going in head on. Arthur's ship, Priordan, flying the white boar standard of Cornwall, takes him and his men on the perilous voyage in search of the cauldron of Pen Anwin, the lord of the underworld, that cooks the food of heroes, not of cowards. On this earliest grail quest, the company of Priordan pass through many trials, but only seven return, including Taliesin and Arthur. Okay. Victory, self-confidence, self-discipline, achievement, travel, determination, courage, movement, imagination. Questions. Where are you going? What are the limits? Where does self-control come in? Alright, so this can also be, it feels like there's victory here, Leo, but there can also be travels here, Leo. So where are you going? Where do you plan on going? Alright, what are the limits there? Is that fear? Releasing that fear. Okay. Spear 4, Spear King, Grail Queen, Sword 9, Grail 4, okay. It's a Sword 9. Night under a waning moon is a placated fence with severed heads upon its spike. In a ditch lies a sword. Suffering, fear, guilt, grave doubts, cruelty, despair, premonition, and nightmares. Danger facing the worst. Question, what is the worst? So what is your worst fear here, Leo? Okay. And that of getting over that whatever is your fear. Okay. Spear 4. The path leads from distant woods, branching off at a settlement. Beside the path stands a garlanded spear. Successful enterprise, festi festival and celebration, enjoying the fruits of your labors, a new house. Question, what is the cause of celebration? Alright, so there can even be there can even be a new house here, Leo. Okay? That could be a victory for you. Alright, and also what do you have what do you have to celebrate? What are you what have you achieved in your life, right? You have success here. You, know, you could have a new house, you could have travels, you could have love, you could have fertility, pregnancy, justice, all that sort of stuff, stability, all that stuff, right? And we have the Spear King. At a forge, the Spear King tests the keenness of his spear's point. A warm, friendly, committed entrepreneur and magnanimous 
whatever person, a promise fulfilled. Question, how are you enabling this? Okay. So this can be you, or this can be a person around you. This feels more like a person around you, the Spear King. But we do have a promise being fulfilled here, Liam. Okay. That is like a promise of victory. That is a promise of success, forward movement. Okay. A lot of different things. We have the Grail Queen. Elaine, the mother of Galahad, conceives the Grail winner from her deep desire for Lancelot, creating a worthy successor of the Grail bloodline. An intuitive, compassionate, visionary, generous, harmonious person, a guiding dream or vision. Question, what is the love that supports you? This, this could be love here, Leo. Alright, but what it feels, once again, we're talking about bloodline here, okay? Conceiving that of a bloodline. Now, the Grail Queen, that could be you, that could be a person around you. This can be, once again, talking about that of future bloodline, future generations here. Okay. Now, the Grail Four, which I completely passed. Near a standing lake of stagnant water, a cup lies overturned in brambles. Lethargy, boredom, spiritual stagnation, dissatisfaction, emotional immaturity. Ca what Question, what is causing dissatisfaction here? Alright, Leah, so what is causing dissatisfaction? Okay, it feels like there's a movement away, to, away from that. What is causing dissatisfaction? What is causing fear? What is causing doubts? What is causing all that sort of stuff, right? Because there's moving away from that, moving through that, right? Leo, so that feels like that is your reading here, Okay. Remember those questions. Alright. Leo. So you are being brought into your life. What it is you desire. Okay. Ask what it is. Some of you could already be receiving it. But your heart's desires here, Leo. What is your heart's desires? Okay. Also can be like that of creating a bloodline here. Can be with that of the real king here. Okay, something that you manifested with this full moon. Alright, but we have stability. You are being initiated here. Alright, there's success, there's victory. Leo. There's justice. Celebration. Alright. So. That is all I have for you. And like I said... First link in the description down below for my Etsy shop. Go on there, go buy something, really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye guys.